Well, I spoke on the Olympic ideal. It's a blueprint beyond genomics. When we say about beyond genomics, what we really mean is what are the factors affecting the highest performance? And also, what are, why the Olympic winners different from the other people? What is the ingredient of their success? Is it in the soma, the body, or in the psyche, or in the mind, or in the social factors, or the environmental factors, and so on? Thinkers from all times try to find out what are the factors so that they can improve performance. So the athletes can run faster, they can jump further, and they can do more. It was back in 19, late 1960s when I became a professor at McGill University in Montreal. This is the first question that I was raised with my students. Can I take an athlete and make it an Olympic athlete, an Olympic winner? At that period, everybody believed that it's, everything is in the training. The better training you have, the better conditions, the better athlete you will be. And this is the way, the road to success. But uh, I had, uh, coming from Greece and being educated in the Greek spirit, uh, I had a question, Mark. Is it really true? I was confronted with this problem because uh, I learned the history of Diagoras. Diagoras was an Olympic winner in ancient times, and his two sons were also won Olympic medals. Is it because of training, or is it because the father, the parents, gave the genes to their sons, and they became also winners. We did not have any answer to the question. But I was very lucky that uh, a student of mine was asking persistently this question. He said, well, sir, I'm, I have a twin. I'm an identical twin. You see, I'm an athlete. His, my brother is not interested in athletics, but when we meet weekends and so on, and we go for excursions and so on to the nature, I discovered that he has the same aerobic capacity, and I tested them. And I found indeed that the aerobic capacity was almost the same. The one has not trained at all since, you know, they, are, they were children, but the other was training for endurance and so on. He was a good soccer player and so on. So the idea struck me to develop the model with twins. We measure the maximal oxygen uptake, the maximal capacity to consume oxygen during strenuous exercise. And we discover that the heritability, which is really reflects the, the course of differences between individuals was very high, 94%. And we discovered that aerobic capacity was almost exclusively due to genotype, to genetic differences. This was a revolution. The limits of the Olympic performance, you know, the highest performance, does not depend so much on biological factors but it depends upon the mind of the individual, the psychological and the cognitive pride. The performance of an athlete is really shaped, is a result of what is going on in his mind.